In this episode, you're going to find out how to get a two for one study experience where you'll double your language learning. Hey, Lindsay, what's up? Hey, what's up? Well, today we have a study tip for learning a language. Uh, and basically, the idea is to change the place where you study. And one place I like to go that is different from where I usually study, like I usually just study at home. Oh, okay. Or, um, I like to go out to a cafe. Hmm, okay, yeah. It's, it's a way that you could actually be studying English and at the same time be hearing it. Yeah, it. yeah. So, so you can eavesdrop on You me. guys, I mean, you live in the U.S., so when you go out to a cafe, you know, you can, like you said, you can kind of eavesdrop. Mm -hmm. You'll hear English around you and you can just sit back and relax. It's not like you're rushing to do errands or other things at the same time. Right. And where are some other places that people could study? So if we're varying the location, where else could they go? Yeah. I mean, you could try a public library. Mm -hmm. You could go to... The park, maybe? Mm, yeah. If the weather is nice out. The weather is nice. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, even a bookstore. Bookstore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, a university, even if you're not a university student, they often have, you know, like libraries or um, study building study mm -hmm. halls, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. the public cafeteria. library. Yeah. 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 Even, um, you know, a restaurant, like if you are ordering food there, you could certainly stay for a little bit and, for sure. and study. Why not? Yeah. Any, any other ideas? <sighs> hmm. Yeah, that sounds, that's pretty much it, I think. That sounds like a good tip. So Great. just take in the material in a different way at different times in different places. Yeah, yeah. Mix it up and yeah. your studying could be um, just more dynamic, more interesting. Yeah. And I know this worked for me pretty well when I was in Argentina. I would go to cafes and um, study a little bit with my book, but at the same time, I was hearing people speak Spanish all around me and I could pick Ooh. up different phrases that people were really saying. So on one hand, I had my grammar book that I was studying, but on the other hand, I could hear real live Spanish as people mm -hmm. speak it in Argentina today. It's a nice way to stay motivated too. Yeah. To not be too removed from the real language. Another one that I thought of is on the train. Oh, that's great. So, yeah. On the bus, so, on the train. Yeah. In one of our early episode, earlier episodes, we talked about creating little cards for yourself mm -hmm. to put on your keychain. So that's something that you could do instead on the train. Yeah, that's a great idea. Uh -huh. Listen to this podcast on the train. Of right? course. <laughs> <laughs> great. Cool. Great tip. Um, so yeah, just try out different places and bring your podcast with you wherever you go. Yeah, and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. We have a Deep Thoughts Thursday. We're going to share a great quote with you. Absolutely. See, See you, you tomorrow.